How in the world? <coughs> oh my goodness. Let's try that again. Whew. Hey, how in the world are you? Mike here, Mike's Pressure Washing, Trenton, Ohio. It is Thursday, it's flipping cold, it's 30 degrees, and I'm preparing the rig for three washes on the day. And uh, tomorrow I'm off work, and you might ask, kind sir, why would you take off on a warm day and work on a cold day? Shouldn't you reverse those? I thought you got into business so you could set your own agenda. Well, I can, okay? So let me answer that question. When I'm off work, I want it to be nice outside. So I'm going to hustle through the cold weather, the bad weather, the inclement weather, so that I don't have to wear an igloo on my day off and I can get out and enjoy some things. Are you cool with that? So it's kind of like fun Friday for me. So, um, though it's not really Friday, I'm gonna show you a few things. <sighs> Winterized last night, and you can see I've got a little ice coming out of the um, unloader here. I'm telling you, all you really have to do is, look at it, I can tell there's ice. You can't see it, there's ice right in the bottom of that. All you gotta do is pull the plug and the check valve, and, um, and, and then I, pull out my whip line <laughs> whip a whip line it's fun thursday so that uh so that the whip line is not frozen where's where are you at see there see see there it's not frozen so there you have it and then i run i run fresh water from the house to uh introduce warmer water wa water <laughs> good god so <laughs> so that my valve doesn't stick. It is frozen at this moment. It will not turn. I don't want to break it. That warm water is going to, of course, thaw that and we'll be good to go. All right, I'm chasing chemical. I'm going to go find some and then wash three on the day. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Peace. All right, here we are at stop number one of three simple concrete cleaning job be cleaning the north side of the house a couple of things up there worked for this couple probably three times maybe something like that super super sweet people here in carlisle ohio all right let's get busy oh real quick i've been chasing chemical all morning finally found what i needed for the next several days and because i'm conserving chemical in particular on these jobs i've got the dial this is fully open i've got it set to about halfway so that should help me to conserve chemical here we go so i'm going to pre-treat all the concrete first then i'm going to wet this north side down they're selling the home soon downsizing and so i'm just freshening things up for them what's so interesting is that they want me to wash about that much of this side of the driveway. This is another house here, right here, and they're wanting a nice straight line about a foot and a half over. So I'm gonna give one swipe of my 18 or 19 inch whisper wash, get a nice straight line here, and uh, that should do the trick. So I'll pre-treat all the concrete, then clean this side here while this is dwelling and uh, should be in and out. You have to consider that everything is a process. You got to think of it like that. That while that is dwelling, I can be washing this and this will be dwelling. Then I can go back and wash the concrete then I can come back and rinse all of this. So some will ask me about time, like how do you finish home so quickly? I usually, usually have things well thought out and structured in my head. Although I rarely, almost never do an in-person visit to a given estimate, I will often look on Google Earth I usually know where the water hookup is before I ever even get there, or at least an idea. It's just those things. I, I'm usually washing within two to three minutes of the time that I pull up if the homeowner's not there. 
two to three minutes, I'm done. I mean, I'm done hooking up and I'm ready to make a YouTube video because I'm a moron. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get busy washing this wall here. Let that dwell while we clean some concrete. This is gonna be the trick to maybe get a foot over trying to keep even with this fence right here, right there. And um, we'll see how well we do with this. I got a little crooked. Oh boy. Right, here we are setting up on job number two probably one of the cleanest homes I've ever washed I literally had to walk around it to make sure that there was dirt uh, but we're here to clean and that's what we do same process regardless hey I want to take just a moment and share with you why there are no after pictures or footage on that last job and the reason being is because I got into a confrontation with a neighbor. I can't go into great detail, and it's not worth the detail. But I knew when I was asked to draw that line along the driveway, I realized that was property line. <sighs> Guys, it's not worth it not worth it. I, I knew when I was asked to do that that the neighbor was not going to be happy. It resulted in quite lengthy, um, thankfully non-physical confrontation. Dude would have broke me. I mean, I'm like, I got nothing to offer to begin with, but I get in that, <laughs> I get in that zone right where I can't like pull away and I forget that I'm five foot six literally and 50 years old and have no need I think when when I when and if I ever get into confrontations and there have been a few over the years I think people just laugh I don't think people like say oh god he's, he's serious I think it's just funny to people <laughs> and it should be anyhow this is what I tell my children. Life hack from Pastor Mike, are you ready? I tell my children. I've taught all of them this when I was teaching them to drive. If someone wants to pass you, let them pass you. The fact of the matter is they're in a hurry. Here's the thing. If they pass you within a mile or less, they've totally forgot about you and you have totally forgot about them. But if you have a confrontation, you will never forget about them. Why? Because your lawyer will constantly be reminding you. The judge will be reminding you. The police officer will be reminding you. The fine will be reminding you. The bruise on your face will be reminding you. It's not worth it. Anyways, a little self-contemplation uh, here, a little self-reflection. I was in the wrong. I was in the wrong because I should have just walked away. All right, let's watch a house. No footage here. All 
All right, here we are set up for stop number three, driveway wash. You might remember just a few weeks ago, I did a video where I washed this driveway for the neighbor. That's a previous homeowner a couple of times over. And now this nice lady wants her driveway washed. You might also remember this gated community in Westchester. It's called Weatherington. This is where I gave a bid for 84 condo pads, like the patio pads and whatever. And um, they pretty much told me just to pack all my things and go home. <laughs> but they were nice about it. So I'm going to wash this concrete and uh, I'll show you the after pictures. Don't go anywhere. All right. As with all concrete washes, we pre-treat all the concrete first and then go back with the old Whisper Wash 19 inch classic with the four bar or excuse me, the four tip bar. Love it. I can run with this thing. I'll show you. that baby going at it look at that dude is off the hook x games mode baby I like to kind of go in a square if I've got one of these odd looking driveways. Go in a square, so to speak. And uh, usually works out pretty good for me. hard to do this one-handed. Well. Okay, so <laughs> the craziest thing just happened to me. My life is bizarro world. So I just finished up washing this driveway for this family. Um, I'm getting ready to post treat and the homeowner comes out. Now you have to understand, I've never met her before. We've only communicated via text. I have no idea what she looks like. Whoa. Anyhow, and uh, I said, what do you think? She said, well, how much more do you have left to do? And I said, about five minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. And she said, well, <laughs> she said, I have a hundred dollar tip for you. And I said, well, thank you very, very much. And she said, but I, there's a proposition or a catch. I can't remember what she said. And I said, okay, anything, what's up? She said, I want you to take off all of your shirts and wash the rest without your shirts on. And I was like, really? And she said, and I want to video you doing it. I'm like, oh my God, this is nuts. In a gated community, I kid you not, it happened right over there. She was standing right over there, nuts. Gosh, the stuff that happens in my life. Jeez, what a life.